10 months ago, I made a brand new account and decided to do a Bloxburg challenge. I was going to go from zero to $100,000 without using any jobs. This meant that I would have to make money without using pizza delivery, pizza baking, fishing, or any of the other official jobs. This challenge was split into 10 episodes on my channel, and this is technically the 10th episode. So if you would like to get caught up, go watch the other episodes first. The link to the playlist is in the description. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you subscribed because this video took a very long time to make. So I've already completed this challenge, as you can see by the title, but let's head all the way back to episode one to see how I got here. Episode 1 might have looked like it went very slow, but I actually made a lot of progress. The first thing I did was delete the starter house. This is because when I said I was going from 0 to 100,000, I meant it. After selling the house, I made my way to the grocery store to get rid of the money. For some reason, I thought the best way to get rid of the money was just to buy tons of watermelons. I wasn't allowed to use the watermelons during the series, but eventually I just got rid of them, so problem solved. When I got back to my plot, I made a plan. I was going to get $20 so that I could buy a small dirt pile, so I went out to find someone that would be willing to donate some money. This is embarrassing. I'm begging for money. Oh, I just got 20 bucks from these people. That's awesome. Plants take a long time to grow, so I broke into a house to find money. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't lead to much though. The only thing I came out with was baby food. Once I made it back, the grass was grown, so I sold it for profit and I planted another one. I still needed money though, so I went out to get more donations. We're up to 81 now. I think that's the most we've had so far. My goal was to level up my gardening because if I got to level four, I could get apple trees. Apple trees are very important because once they are fully grown, you can infinitely harvest them for more money. That means that if I was having a bad day with donations, I could just sit back and farm. So I got to work on leveling up. As I was farming, I made enough money to get my first chair, and it was a tree stump, but it worked. After around two and a half hours, I made it to level four, but there was only one problem. I didn't have enough money, so I went back to begging. I was able to get a $150 donation, which meant I was able to get my first apple tree. But before I left, I was given another $400. Why? I don't know, but it was money. That extra money meant I was able to get a second apple tree, as well as a shower. After everything I bought, I had $127, and that marked the end of episode one. Episode 2 is where I really started to pick up the pace. If you didn't already know, every time someone subscribed to my channel, I lost $5. So I started the episode by getting rid of $110 that I lost from subscribers. But I was given a daily bonus, so I really only lost like $10. I decided that it was the right time to start working on a more efficient money-making method. I was going to build a cafe, but once I looked at the prices of appliances, I realized it might take a little more time than I thought. So unfortunately, I went back to begging for money. What the heck? I was almost done typing and she just left! That didn't last awesome. long though. Okay, we got 300 bucks from this person. Oh my gosh. Hold on a second, I gotta go over here. A thousand dollars? Now that I had the money for a cafe, I began building. Once I finished, I got my first customer and a nice little tip. Thanks, how much? Uh... Two, what the? Two thousand dollars, man! With this extra money, I decided to decorate the cafe so that it would be a little more appealing. When the cafe was completed, I focused on serving customers because I needed money. And money is something that I got. I just, what? My apple trees grew, so I harvested them and made $376. Before I concluded the episode, I decided to spend the money because saving money is something that I don't do. I built a nice little bedroom in the corner of my plot that would eventually turn into a hotel room. I ended episode 2 with $1,000, but little did I know, there was a lot more waiting for me in episode 3.
The third episode was mainly focused around running my new and improved cafe. I first got rid of $145 that I lost from subscribers. I then began serving customers at the cafe. There we go. With my remaining money, I decided to build the blueprint for my hotel. Oh, this is the same person. Do you? Oh my gosh. This might take a little while. Hot dog! Income was coming in very slowly, but I had a solution. Normal Blacksburg servers can hold up to 12 people at once, but at the time, neighborhoods could hold up to 50. If I could get into a server with more people, that means I would get more customers, which means more money. So I joined the biggest neighborhood that I knew of. Oh! <laughs> 500 from this person? 20 bucks. $5,000! Oh no! <laughs> Once I got the cafe running, it became obvious that my money problem was no longer a problem. Okay. Dowling is my only choice. Oh! <laughs> $10,000! Look at how rich I am! But after a while, I found a baby on the street and got a little bit distracted. Customers were no longer showing up, so I decided to call it a day. I went back to a normal server and began constructing a new hotel. When I was finished building, I had a little over $500, half of what I had last episode. But it didn't matter because now I had a cafe and a hotel. Episode 3 concluded with a good ending, but episode 4 would be even better. Episode 4 started off with a nice loss of $305 from subscribers. I added a little bit of decoration to the new hotel and then made my way back to the neighborhood. Once I started running the cafe and hotel, tons of people came to my plat. I guess a sweet's gonna be like, normal's 200, sweet's 500, that's good. I gotta pull out my notepad. 500! I want frog legs? I can do frog leg jam. Five thousand. We got five. We got five thousand dollars for chicken nuggets. I feel bad for you. What? The sweet is five hundred. No, stop swearing at my customers. He's gonna put zero. Oh, a thousand. Oh, what? What's happening? Oh wow, what ha oh, seven thousand dollars? Thank you so much. No problem, glad to help. My wallet was stuffed, and what did I do with the money? I spent it. I decided to decorate my plot because if the plot was more appealing, maybe I would get more customers. Once my money spending spree was over, I had a total of ten thousand dollars. This profit marked the end of episode four. Episode 5, it went pretty well. I started the episode by getting rid of $360 from subscribers. Once I finished that, I decided to spend more money on a bike rental shop. Then came the most exciting part of each episode, getting a neighborhood plot. Check it out, we got a plot. Hello? Huh? I got a plot and then started serving customers. Hey, you know you want to buy something. Or normal. You're gonna get this one. 200! Many customers came to my plot, but not much money was made. Can of beans? Sure thing. Hospital <laughs> is 500. <laughs> what the? <laughs> What's he doing? Yeah, you got any human meat? Coming right up! Follow me. This is your room? What the heck? What does she want? Never mind, I changed to a normal room. Can I have my money back? What the heck, man? I just lost money. Actually, I'm not gonna say give my money back. You bought a room. 
Give me your plot. $10,000, please. Give me my money back right now. I'm reporting you. What's she going on about? I gave her her money. After lots of arguing and chaos, I got my first big donation. What the? Live at the hotel. <laughs> I then sold my plot for $1,000 and joined a nice calm survey. Episode 5 ended with a profit of $7,000, which is not as much as last episode, but it's still progress. Episode 6 was kinda slow. A lot of people subscribed in between episode 5 and 6, which meant that $825 of my hard-earned money was lost. But it's okay because I harvested my apple trees for my money back. Just like the previous episodes, I got a neighborhood plot and ran my business. Five dollars, please. Five bucks! Normal. Two hundred dollars, please. This is your room. Sweet! We got 300 extra already. I'm not giving away my plot. I just got it five minutes ago. Okay, there goes 10K. I don't need 10K. Can I have a Caesar salad? Sure. Stop moving. We are getting so many customers. I'm forgetting to talk. Bike and a coffee. 305, please. Enjoy. Joy. Do they sleep in the bed? Oh my gosh. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Is there a room with two beds? There you go. What's the most expensive thing you have? Enjoy. Uh, what the heck, man? Get off my- Oops. I made a little bit of money and then got into a sticky situation. I- Ah. Uh, please don't look at that message. Please don't look at that message. Someone that has watched the series found my plot and began giving me very generous tips. Stupid. Anyways, may I have a bike rental? Sure. Bikes are 300. Set- No! Enjoy. Do you have a- What? Do you have a slush, popcorn, ice cream? No. Where's she- She's just gonna leave? What the heck? Thank- Oh my gosh. It's you! Not you again! Stop it! I have to give that away. You can have the money. Keep it. It's not mine. Why are you here? Stop it! It's not my money. Dude! How did he donate through the wall? Give it back! You can have it. Stop moving. I hate you anyway. Take the money. I'm taking a bike and I'm leaving. After getting out of the chaos, I moved on to a different neighborhood and made some extra money. Can I buy your plot, please? I just got it. Yes? No? You not like the rooms? What do you think? Okay. Enjoy. Let's clean myself up really quick. Oh, no. Please don't disconnect. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. But why am I walking like this? <laughs> What's going on? I'm <laughs> Food, please. Five dollars, please. A thousand dollars. By the end of the episode, I planted four new apple trees and I made around three thousand dollars. Episode five and six were somewhat disappointing, but what happened in episode seven definitely made up for it. Episode 7 welcomed me to a nice loss of $920 from subscribers, but just like last episode, I made my money back from harvesting apple trees. I decided to spend some of my money on probably the most useless building in my plot, a mood station. The mood station was useless because for the rest of the series, it was probably used twice? Both of those times were by me, but it looked cool, so who cares? That is not a block spirit house. Can I just go in? After going okay. on a nice field trip around the map, I began making money. But this time, I made a little bit more money than the past couple of episodes combined. Five dollars, please. Hello. Five dollars, please. Jesus. Okay. I need to go take a shower. We just threw a party like 10 minutes ago. Here we go. Come on. Somebody come to my plot. What the heck? Corn dogs, please. Oh, 500. Turkey, please. I don't have turkey. Taco? Look, he can eat a taco instead. Stop giving me money. <laughs> Thank you. We already got some apple trees growing. Let's harvest these really quick. Health. Okay. All the rooms, please. Sure. Have them all. <laughs> Thanks for the $1,000. We got somebody else. Oh, it's this guy again. Dude, go away. <laughs> you gave me enough money. I'm running out of food. Hello again. I don't need any of your money. Hi, can I buy all the bikes? Bikes are free for you. Follow me. Don't give me money. You've given me enough. Enjoy. 
I don't need any more money. Stop it. Thank you. <laughs> Where did you get a book? What? I made so much money that I reached my donation limit and could no longer make money. Everything is free right now. What would you like to eat? Very cheap. Food is free. With my spare time, I decided to double my apple trees and eat some food at a nearby restaurant. <laughs> Why is he looking at me like that? Episode 7 ended with a whopping $20,000 in profit and was definitely one of the best episodes in the series. Episode 8 began just like every other episode with a loss of $745 from subscribers. I then tried making money in smaller Bloxburg servers which didn't work out too well. Take chicken nuggets. $20. Oh, one of our apple trees is grown. What was that? Oh, forgot to give her permissions. Hello again. Dude, we're making business. Yes, bacon and eggs. Sure thing. I have bacon and eggs, right? Uh-oh. Fruit salad. Five bucks. Thank you. Oh, and I just lost that five bucks because I have to pay my bills. Check it out. I want some money. I look like I need it. Look at me. <laughs> she gave me a thousand dollars. I've been doing the same thing every single episode, so I decided to switch it up. Instead of waiting for people to come to me, I would bring the food to them. And this idea kind of worked. You want some burgers? Ten dollars for a burger. You really want a burger. Ten bucks. <laughs> Enjoy your burger. Let's find somebody else now. Ten dollars for a burger. A thousand dollars. What's happening? Come here. What's that? Two thousand. We just got two thousand dollars for nothing. Oh, five hundred. Anybody want a burger? I made a pretty good amount of money, but once I got a plot, somebody offered $5,000 to take it. We got $5,000 for selling my plot. Oh, that's easy. When I made it back to the small server, I waited for some of my apple trees to grow. Episode 8 ended with a grand total of $50,000, which meant I was halfway to my goal. Episode 9 was very delayed. Throughout the first portion of the episode, I made $1,271, then took a nice long break. A month later, I recorded the rest of the video. Throughout that month, I lost $1,210 from subscribers. I then pulled out my tacos and began selling them to people. Come on, you know you want a taco. $10, please. 2000 Oh my god, I forgot my tacos. One second. Would you like to buy a cookie? He said yes. I just want to sell the cookie. I got five dollars. Who are all these people? Shy Wilson, Trey Wilson, August Windsor. Oh, they all live in this mansion right here. I also harvested my apple trees for some extra money. There we go. We made some money. Would you like to buy a room? Yes. Okay. About a hundred. Deal. Okay, I'm gonna sell this plant now. Oh, my apple trees are growing back again. Time to harvest them. I made a little bit of profit after the harvest and then ended the episode with $58,000. And that is where the series is left off. But if you read the title, then you already know that I made it to $100,000. So how exactly did I make $48,000 in a single episode? Welcome to episode 10 of going from zero to $100,000 in Bloxburg without using jobs. Episode 10 is the final episode of the series. The first thing I did was get rid of $240 from subscribers. I then tried every money method I knew of. $61,000 was the exact amount of money needed to get to my goal, which meant that all I had to get was $2,000. Hey, all my apple trees grow. All, all my, I can't speak. This one, we'll just do 100, please. Room, 100, please. Where are you going? Veggie soup, please. I was not making enough money, so I resorted to my backup plan. Apple trees.
Once I reached my goal, I began the process of deconstructing my plot. First came the mood station from episode 7. I then got rid of the bike rental from episode 5. Next came the Brick Road Hotel from episode 3. After that was the first hotel room from episode 2. Then came the apple trees that were scattered around my plot from multiple episodes. And then finally came the cafe from episode 1 and 2. Now with my $101,000, I got to sit on my original tree stump with the first two apple trees from episode one. But before I conclude the video, let's head back to the beginning where I already sort of gave away the ending. I made it to $100,000 without using any jobs, but how did I do it? Well, it all started from a person named Sofa, who provided me with the money to get a dirt pile and a plant. In my opinion, this series has shown that even though Bloxburg has its conflicts, there's just as much, if not more, good people that just want to make the game a better place. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Like I said at the start, this video took months to create, so any support is greatly appreciated. If you want to watch any of the full episodes, the playlist is linked in the description. But with that being said, Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in a future video.